Yeah, and you kind of do need to get that medium weight jacket out at least in the morning hours when temperatures are dropping into the upper 30s for some of us. We saw a little bit of frost this morning, but as uh, again alluded to our afternoon hours, I think really look fantastic for our Tuesday temperatures right now into the mid to upper 50s right around 60 in Des Moines and West Des Moines 55 out towards Dallas Center. We're at 58 up in Johnston for your lunch hour. Again, it's been a comfortable afternoon. Lots of sunshine. Most of us running a couple of degrees warmer than the same time yesterday, and I think that will uh, trend as we go into the afternoon as well. High temperatures topping out likely in the mid 60s here towards the second half of the day. Winds fairly light for central and southern portions of the state. We've got a little bit of, of a breeze out of the north and west up towards northeastern Iowa. Winds for everyone will pick up as we head into uh, the uh, afternoon hours on Wednesday and especially Thursday and Friday. 12 hour forecast though looks quiet and calm for the next 12 hours. Low 60s, low to mid 60s today. Skies clear out towards the evening and then a few clouds will build in overnight tonight. Today is our last dry day, but then the wet and windy weather kicks up tomorrow afternoon and evening that sticks with us. At least the rain through Thursday into Friday, not raining the entire time, but I think there will be periods of soggy weather throughout the next three days and then the cooler temperatures below average. We fall back into the 50s once we head closer towards the weekend. So rain chances ramp up tomorrow afternoon and evening. They'll stay pretty uh, scattered across the state. Widespread activity Thursday and Friday before the rain kind of tapers off at times by Saturday afternoon. So again, several soggy days ahead. We need the rain and we think even though we're going to get a decent amount of rainfall in the next three days, it should not create any big issues uh, for our area because we are so dry and we have such a drought going on. Temperature wise, 60s or mid 60s through Thursday and Friday, a little bit warmer with the rain that moves in. And then once that system fully exits Iowa, we'll see our temperatures fall into the lower 50s by Saturday and Sunday. So we'll fast forward here to tomorrow morning. A few showers possible across southern Iowa. We pick up a few showers Wednesday afternoon. This is around 2 p.m. Heavier rain sets in, I think, overnight Wednesday into early Thursday morning. And then we go through our Thursday. We'll see periods of rain throughout the day. And then another intense band, I think, moves in by Thursday night into Friday morning. So all of us pretty much under the gun here across Iowa for the rainfall, looking at anywhere between one to three inches of rainfall for some uh, locally higher spots there, especially across north central Iowa. So we'll keep a close eye on these rainfall totals, but a good chance that most of us see at least two inches, one to two inches here with all of the rainfall over the next three days. Today stays dry though. We're talking 60s on the board this afternoon. Tonight we will fall back into the 40s chance for an overnight shower. But again, the real deal gets here tomorrow afternoon and evening. A few rumbles of thunder possible towards the second half of the day on Wednesday. Rain ramps up overnight Wednesday into Thursday morning and then again Thursday night into Friday. Showers continue through Friday afternoon before tapering off by this upcoming weekend. Jody.